Hello, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at iGoogle and see how you can use it to create your own custom start page and in particular how we can use it as a basic RSS feeder to subscribe to RSS feeds. So we're going to start at iGoogle.com which you can get to by going to www.iGoogle.com if you've never been there before, you're going to get a page that looks like mine does. It's going to say create your own home page in under 30 seconds. You can choose interests for yourselves. You can choose a theme. Um, I'm going to leave that stuff blank and go ahead and click on see your page. Okay, so it starts me off with a page with some default stuff on it. I'm going to go ahead and click on the X on each one of these to get rid of them. So on each one of these objects, I can click on an X to get rid of them. I want to start with a fresh blank screen. Now I'm ready to start adding content to my home page. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and sign in and save it so that I know everything I'm going to do is, is going to be saved. So to do that, you're going to click on sign in in the top right. If you already have a Google account, you can sign in with your Google account, which is always just an email address and a password. If you don't have a Google account, you will have to click down there where it says create a Google account now. So now I'm back at my own iGoogle page. I've cleared it out. It's completely empty and I'm logged in so I know it's going to save whatever I add to it. We're going to look at two different ways to add content to your iGoogle page. Either way, you're going to start by clicking where it says Add Stuff. And it's going to give you a big list of pre-made stuff that you can add to your iGoogle page. If you see something that you like, you can click on the Add It Now button. It'll add it to your page and you can keep looking for other things. Now, there's a large amount of content that you can search for here. Some of it you may find useful for your classroom. Some of it may be things that you may find useful personally or just fun, and that's all fine. Uh, you can search in the upper, upper right here by typing in keywords and searching for gadgets that have to do with things that you're interested in. Or you can search by category on the left. So, for example, I'll click on News. And it'll take me to this page full of gadgets that have to do with the news. So I'll choose a couple of these and add them to my page just to see. When you're done adding Google gadgets, you can go back to the iGoogle homepage. And back on my home page, you can see that my three gadgets I chose, the BBC News, the Google News, and the weather have all been added. Now, a lot of times when you add gadgets like this, you'll have to select your area to put it on there. Now, my computer remembered that I'm in Gainesville, so the weather automatically came up as Gainesville. But on a lot of these, you'll have to click on the location name and enter a zip code or something like that to make it fit to your particular area. Once you have these squares on your page, you can click and move them around however you'd like. Just click and drag them around as if they were a window on your screen, and you can arrange them onto your page however you want them to look. If you decide you don't want one anymore, you can click on the X in the corner to get rid of it. You can also minimize it or click on the little drop-down arrow for more options on each of these.